Time for match number seven in our WCW countdown. We are spanning only WCW era matches, not Jim Crockett promotions. One match per week for 15 straight weeks leading into the 15-year anniversary of the final Nitro. And match number seven is from Starcade 1992, Battle Bowl, uh, the Battle Bowl show, not the Battle Bowl match. December 28th, 1992 from the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia. Sting versus Big Van Vader in the King of Cable tournament finals. The King of Cable was an eight-man elimination tournament that they did. They only did it once. It was to celebrate the 20th anniversary of wrestling airing on TBS. Sting beat Brian Pillman and Rick Rude to advance to the finals. Vader beat Tony Atlas and Dustin Rhodes to get to the finals in the weeks leading up to this. We had Jim Ross and Jesse the Body Ventura on commentary. Uh, JR was just, not surprisingly, outstanding in this match. And Jesse was Jesse. I'm a big fan of Jesse. I know, you know people have said that JR and him didn't get along because you know JR would prepare and Jesse would just go into it, no preparation or anything. I thought they worked pretty well together as a team. Sting and Vader had a lot of wars in their feud. This may have been the best. This may have been the best match that they had together. These two had incredible chemistry together. Vader beat Sting a few months earlier at the Great American Bash to win the WCW title. Uh, although here, there was no title. I think this was the, the phase where Ron Simmons was the champion for those few months. So I think he had the belt. Vader, you know, Vader is the best striker I've ever seen in wrestling. He is the scariest dude when it comes to just beating the hell out of you, rights and lefts and forearms and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he, he would lay a beating in on pretty much everybody he was in that ring with. The greatest super heavyweight. You know, and I, I go back and forth with people on this sometimes. It depends on your criteria, I guess, for what constitutes a super heavyweight in pro wrestling. Some say 350 or more. Some say 300 pounds. You could argue The Undertaker. It can go either way. Okay, if Vader isn't number one, then he's number two. Doesn't matter. He He's way, way up there on the list. So Vader comes down to the ring. He's got Harley Race in his corner. He's wearing a do-rag on his head for some reason. I have no idea why. Sting comes out, gets a hero's welcome, and and just to give some perspective, because we had a whole discussion on this podcast a couple of months ago about Sting as a draw back then, was he, wasn't he? I mean, there's no doubt he was a big star and probably the biggest baby face they had. The Omni in Atlanta for this show was set up for 15000 and they drew a paid crowd of 6500 And that is with Sting as the top baby face for what was traditionally their biggest show of the year. Now, to be fair, Battle Bowl was the focus of the advertising, but you know what? Sting ended up in the Battle Bowl match too. So I'm just putting that out there. Sting was on fire early in this match. He even hit a plancha out to the floor. He wiped out Vader and Harley Race in one shot. Uh, As is the case in lots of Sting matches, I've noticed... Uh, And this goes for TNA also, not just WCW. He's got the momentum. He's on offense. He goes for a stinger splash on the outside on his opponent. His opponent moves, and he crashes into the steel guardrail. Armpit first hits the guardrail. Uh, Vader pretty much took over from there. The story they told on commentary and, and, and in the ring as well was Sting is just taking a ton of abuse by Vader. Blow after blow, shot after shot with the hope that Vader would basically punch himself out. He would tire himself out. Sting would go in for the kill. Finish came with Vader up on the top rope. He went for... (laughs) I have no idea what he was going for, but Sting caught him in midair, turned it into a power slam, and got the pin. Sting is the king of cable. I thought this was a great match. Uh, But it wasn't over yet, because the two of them came right back out for the Battle Bowl main event. And for those of you that don't know what Battle Bowl is, you've never heard of it before, not really familiar with WCW, Battle Bowl was something new that they decided to try the year before. It was basically a glorified Royal Rumble. But the very first one they ever did had two rings, side by side, so think uh, War Games. This year, they only used one ring. So that only lasted one year, and then they were they were down to one ring. And before the match even starts, you know, Vader had come out, Sting was the last man out, uh, Vader tackled Sting on the ramp. They ended up eliminating each other from the match later on. Sting had won the first Battle Bowl. 
the year before. And the great Muta, who was the IWGP champion at the time in New Japan, he got the surprise win in this match. He eliminated Barry Windham to win. So as for Sting and Vader, you know, if you want to see another great match between them, they've, they've had a whole bunch of them. Check out their White Castle of Fear strap match at Super Brawl 3, which is on the network. Uh, that's another really good one. Sting whips him so bad with the strap that he bloodies up Vader's back. Uh, that, was, that was a pretty hard-hitting match. I love... The thing about that match, though, I love how they build that one, the, the strap match, as a non-sanctioned match. A non-sanctioned match. WCW would not sanction this. And Vader's title was not on the line. But yet they had to abide by the rules. <laughs> you had, I think Nick Patrick was the referee. He was in there and, you know, Vader was going, you know, all in and smothering Sting. You know, the referee would push him back. It's like, why? What, what are you going to do? There's no disqualifications in this match. So I always get a chuckle. And they're not the only ones. Sometimes WWE, they'll forget the rules. And you'll, you'll be in a no DQ kind of match and the referee is there. It's like, why is there a referee here? Why, why is he counting? That's what gets me. Sometimes you have these matches that have no rules or can only end on a pin or, or what have you. And there's a referee in there. And fine, the referee has to count the fall. I get that. But you have the referee like counting one, two, three. Like the guy won't break the hold. Like what are you counting, dude? Like <laughs> sometimes they forget themselves. And I think that's kind of what happened in, uh, in that strap match. But anyway, Sting Invader, check him out. Starcade 92, King of Cable, in my opinion, probably the best match they ever had.